In this video, we want to know different methods to import and generate the data inside the job network and how we can export and read data on other objects by expressions and export job log. I have two null here, one red, one green color. I animate the red one in Z axis uh, by keyframing. Okay. Now what we want to do is importing uh, this animated channel inside a job network, read it and send it back to another object. We want to know how we can do it. Okay, I create a job network. We can import information from object level by object node. It needs to know which object is the target and which data needs to import. So I select uh, the red node as the target and compute position to import its Y and Z information. So now I, I have three curves based on these values. Uh, X and Y have no animation, so two straight lines and, and one curve shape for Z position data. Now to read these curves from chop network, several ways we have. One is using chop cf expression command, which is very convenient. I give the address of the node in the chop network. This node is where the channel exists in it. Then as I am reading the third channel, tz, the index is 2. Now I write dollar sign f. So every frame number, it looks at the same sample number. For example, in frame 2, it looks at sample number 2. It reads that value of that sample and writes it back here. So I can even give it uh, some offset and mix it with other expression again. Now let's say we have animation in this Y channel. So I do some keyframing. Down up. Okay, and uh, I delete the channel, so no animation here. To read this Y, Y channel, the, because it is the second one in translate channels, so its index is 1. And I write 1 and it reads this data. Now I want to control position of this green node directly from chop network. I do it by export chop node. We have three channels imported by object node and we want to choose one of them and export it. Now I select a newly green as target and I want to control its TSZ channel and also I should choose which channel I should uh, read from the all the channels that imported by object node and finally I should uh, I should turn on this export flag now this channel is completely under control from uh, ch chop network and we cannot alter its channel uh, from object level Okay, let me change its name and create another node here. To read data from one chop network and apply them in different objects, we can have a mix of these two methods together. I mean using expression and export mode. So the yellow node is reading the Z channel by expression and the green one is driven by export node from top network. It is better we have a node at the end in the R network, easier to find it.
We can easily tweak channels by other chop nodes in different ways. Let I introduce lag chop. His job is his name. It can add lags to to a channel. See the curve. How is the curve? So we have this effect. It can be used to add secondary motion to our animation. Even we can use it to add some sort of a spring motion. Ok, let I create another node. I give it a name. This time I'm going to make it longer in X axis. Better make it a shape as box. Okay, and uh, we can change the shape of nodes, same as other objects, by transform node. Just make sure you are not uh, scaling it in object level. I go to chop network. Another way to control a channel in object level from chop network is by using channel chop node, which lets us uh, create custom channels. For example, I create a channel and name it. I place dollar sign F so we created a linear curve in chop and now we can read this curve from the object level by expression. We have a null to find uh, find it easier from other networks and keep the network procedural. When using expression to read channels, it doesn't matter what is the name of the channel. We can place whatever. Just we need to know what is the index uh, number of the channel. Okay, we have one channel, so the index is zero. So here I go to <coughs> object level. And by chop cf command, I am reading data from uh, chop network from the same uh, dollar sign f that I just created and read it back to rotation y axis. So as I said, the index channel is zero. We have just one channel from the node I selected. I multiply the value by 10 so uh, we have faster rotation. Some other chops not generate patterns for us, like wave or noise chop. Wave is generating a sinus shape pattern. So as I said, because the expression is always looking for a channel that has index number 0, if I connect wave to it, Despite it has a different name, but expression continues reading it. Now I use merge node to merge these two channels together. We see the expression is uh, still reading the channel. Uh, a channel with index number 0, which is the wave. But as soon as we change the index to the, uh, to 1, it reads the next channel. Then we can have a controller to switch between these two channels. I create a node. I name it controller and add a spare parameter, uh, an integer number, an integer parameter. Let's say switch. Okay. 
here and I choose toggle because toggle is outputting 0 or 1 so when we add it inside the expression we have a switcher to read a index 0 or index 1 channel from chop network I'm adding the channel inside the expression So now when we play and switch, we can switch between these two channels. We can do the same inside the chop network. I need a switch node and one export node. I connect them together. Because the switch node lets just one channel pass through it at a time, so I can leave a star in this field. I select the rotate node object and RY as a path. Okay, we need to turn on export flag to see the effect. And finally, if we wanted to disable reading from job, all we need to do is right click on this channel, go to motion effects and unselect enable effect options. 